All right, welcome back to Pharmacist On Call with your community pharmacist, Dr. Sean Pruitt, owner of Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy, owner of the Congan Water Store in Nashville. So I guess we can kind of get right back into the, uh, the store itself. Uh, basically what we do is we discount medication for those individuals who cannot afford the high price of medication as it stands. Uh, and we also want to basically stress the customer service. So if you talk to any of our patients, uh, many of you who are viewers, the, the, the low savings bring you in, but the great customer service and the friendliness keep you there. Uh, we've had a number of people who started out with us who were uninsured and over time they got their insurance and they've remained with us and, and that is a testament to the job that we do to taking care of those patients and many of those patients are appreciative uh, of the savings that we offer them and the great customer service. So we are truly the pharmacy of choice for the uninsured uh, but as we got into in fact initially I did not even take insurance our first Gee, from probably first four or five months, I did not take insurance because I only wanted to specifically focus on those who were uninsured. But because of the area where I am, it's a large 10-care Medicaid population, uh, many of them wanted the love too. And so I had to change my paradigm and my business model to also include them as well. So now the majority of my patients, uh, while I do still do a lot of uninsured, majority of my patients are actually insured, even though we're a discount pharmacy. Uh, so I'd like to thank those patients and, uh, and so those of you who are viewers and patients as well for keeping us open for three years. Uh, so we, we really appreciate it. And a lot of you tell your friends and your family about it. Uh, and we, we really appreciate that, especially for supporting the show. About four months into the store, we opened something called the Congan Water Store of Nashville. And this was a, a little different niche that I wanted to add to the store. As you all know, we are big into natural medicine and alternative medicine. Uh, so we wanted to add this as a convenience for our patients and our customers. So you're asking, <laughs> selling water, really? What is Congan Water? Congan water is a water that goes through about a series of four different processes. We make the water there in the store. We don't, I joke with people and tell them we get it from overseas somewhere. But it goes through a machine that we have that runs about probably four grand. Uh, the word Congan itself is a Japanese word, which means return to the roots or return to the origins. So it is designed to be the water that, hey, Adam and Eve pretty much drank, free of pollutants, very alkaline. But we're gonna get back into that in a second because we've got Ken on line one. Ken, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yes, uh, my name is Ken Clinton. Yes, sir. How may we help you? Uh, I would like to know, um, I had to start taking my my uh, my uh, uh, private statin. Yes, sir. And I uh, was wanting to know. I went to um, get the uh, um, it's a vitamin. I, then I transferred to uh, it's a red. Uh, uh, it's for like a fish oil. Okay, you said red something. Is it red yeast rice? No, it's a red. It's it's like uh, fish oil. Okay. But I was wanting to know is, is that better for me to take than the carbocetin? What is your cholesterol running? What what number is your cholesterol? It runs it runs uh, sometimes you know it runs high and then if I took to this uh, omega red is what it's called. Omega red. So I would imagine that it has omega three, six, and nine, which are going to be your your basic fish oils. But there's also going to be an element of red yeast rice in there as well, which is where the red comes from. Um, the fish oil, yeah, good for cholesterol, good for the heart, uh, but as effective in the immediate as the pravastatin, I would not think so. Did you discuss that with your doctor? Yeah, I did. I, I just I talked to him and I said I was getting I was breaking out in my face. Okay. Uh, how long had you taken the pravastatin before that happened? Well, it's been well. They, got, they just started me. Uh, I had it about a year ago, and my whole body started having an effect on it. It was breaking down like pain in my joints and yeah. muscle pain. Yeah, rhabdomyolysis is what he's describing, everyone. So that's why I say that uh, his liver function tests need to be monitored every three months or so to make sure that it's not accumulating uh, to cause the muscle breakdown that he's dis discussing. Uh, I'm just, I'm really concerned about the cholesterol though, so I'm wondering if we could maybe move to another statin. 
that won't cause that problem. Is your cholesterol over 240? Over 249? No, it was. He said it was high, but not too high. So he put me back on it after it had been out for a while. He put me back on it. Do you have hypertension or diabetes as well? Uh, well, I have diabetes, yeah. Okay, yeah. I've, I've taken hyper. Uh, well, they, matter of fact, they cut me off the high blood pressure medicine. So okay. I, I, apparently I got that under control. Okay, but yeah, the, the and, and the sugar they they put me on this um uh it's a, it's not an insulin shot. It's it's uh it helps the I guess A one A one uh, levels to be normal. The A one C okay. So yeah, yeah for diabetes the the, the standard of care now from all the the experts, uh, they really kind of want you on a statin to prevent you from having a stroke. Uh, so I take, I take a, a basically aspirin every, every day. Yeah, but if that cholesterol is still high, that still increases your risk. So does your doctor know that you've stopped taking the pravastatin? Well, see, I moved from Michigan. Okay. I, I, I got here down to Tennessee now, and I got uh, I got diabetes now. Okay. I talked to pharmacy because I've started breaking out my face. Okay. And and he told me to stop it. I haven't got a doctor down there yet, but Oh, uh, okay, okay. It, it's just that, you know they I don't know if the statin, I know the statin pill is supposed to help, but Yeah. I mean if the statin they tell me that I can't take any statin pills at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm still really concerned about your cholesterol. Give me a call at the store tomorrow and give me the ingredients on the Omega Red. If it has red yeast rice in it, I'll feel a little better that you're at least getting something uh, because it will convert to a statin and lower your cholesterol, but I don't want you just being out there on fish oil only. No, I got that Omega Red. That, that, it, it, that seems, and I, and I noticed the difference. Okay. When I was taking the Omega Red and the statin, when they took me off my junk food, I something that was going to help. You you were taking them together? No, I I stopped it. Okay. The set. When they stopped me before, I, I jumped on the mega red because the mega red is they say it's better than the fish oil. Okay, okay. Yeah, do you have the bottle there with you? Um well, I'll tell you what, yeah, just, just, yeah I, won't, I won't disturb you with that. Yeah, just call me at the store tomorrow. I want to make sure that it has red yeast rice in it. Oh. And then, you know, we could kind of see what your cholesterol looks like. But, yeah, find a doc so that they can monitor you. Okay, and one other thing is uh, my wife, she has a, um, she has a heart problem. She has a heart problem. She's having a problem with her stomach. What's, what's going on with her stomach? Uh, she's got the um, polyps in her stomach. Okay. Is there anything that can be, I mean, because we had her colon to be checked and we're, we're cancer free. Okay. But it's just that she's got these polyps. Is there anything that she could take to help them? Because she suffers with that thing real bad and she can't Too. use the bathroom because they, they press up against her back. Yeah, to my knowledge, I'm thinking those are going to require surgery. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that's going to reduce those. Mm, yes, I just yeah, yeah, yeah. Go through that again. She's been through Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate your call, sir. Okay. And uh, where's your store at? Uh, it's uh, she's going to flash the information up. So just continue watching, and she'll give all the information at the end of the show. All right, brother. God bless you. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Ken. All right, everyone. Stay right there. We'll be right back.